And jury selection is set to begin today in Los Angeles in a new sexual assault trial of former Hollywood movie producer Harvey Weinstein. He is facing 11 charges of sexual assault brought on by five women. Yeah, those charges include rape and sexual battery, and he faces up to life in prison if found guilty. Weinstein has pleaded not guilty. Now, as you probably remember, Weinstein's already serving time in prison following his 2020 conviction in New York for rape and criminal sexual assault. Weinstein is now now appealing that decision. And now this all comes exactly five years after The New Yorker released its bombshell report accusing Weinstein of sexual abuse, sparking the Me Too movement. NBC News legal analyst Danny Savalos joins us here on set for more. Danny, always great to have you with us. Thanks for being here. So, you know, if somebody's like, oh, is this deja vu? Or if you haven't been following super closely and you're thinking, wasn't he convicted? Yes, but that was different charges in a different state. Walk us through this one, what this means, what prosecution's up against, and how jury selection will be. Different victims, same challenges for the prosecution because they have elected to bring charges that relate as far back, I believe, as 2004 with other charges in between dating to 2009, 2010. Anytime you're prosecuting a case where the allegations date back that far, mm. the prosecution is going to run into challenges in meeting its burden of proof. But those same challenges uh, are also the defenses because the defense has to figure out what, where, and how they were doing something 10 years or more ago. So a big challenge here and another challenge for the prosecution. And I've seen prosecutions get in trouble for this. They are bringing in what's called prior bad acts. Evidence not brought, not uh, testified to by the accusers themselves, but by other people that will mm. essentially show that, hey, this Weinstein guy, he was doing this to other people. The challenge there is that this kind of evidence is strictly limited in court. And we've already seen in the Bill Cosby case, for example, and even in Weinstein's New York case, this kind of evidence, if convicted, gets heavily challenged mm -hmm. on appeal and leaves the prosecution ripe and open to an overturning of the conviction. Mm. Uh, going before jury selection, I mean, has the judge made any type of ruling on what type of prior bad acts the jury mm. will be able to hear? Yeah, the prosecution's bringing in that evidence. And in fact, here's the way it works. The rule is you can't bring in other evidence to show that generally somebody was a bad person because they did other prior bad acts. There's an exception to that rule. If you're not bringing it in to show, oh, we're, Judge, we're not using it to show that he's a bad person. We're using it to show that, oh, this is his motive or that this is his modus operandi. This is how he always does it. Maybe he gives them a, a Benadryl in the Cosby case. In this case, maybe he puts them in their limo, drives them to a hotel. That's the reason for this evidence. Now, is it mincing words? Well, some appeals courts think it is, and it really is very fact-specific. So proceed with caution prosecution. Use prior bad acts evidence at your own risk. Let's not talk about that appeal in New York I mentioned. So that's something he was convicted of. He's now appealing it. Can that impact this trial at all? What does that mean? Because that was in New York. This one's in Los Angeles. Is there any impact on each other? Because I know people are worried about it. I actually just interviewed one of the first Harvey Weinstein accusers who kind of kicked off this Me Too movement. And that's what she said. Yeah, we're worried about it. I mean, there was that conviction. Now we're starting this new trial. How are they related? The impact is largely symbolic in that if his conviction is overturned, then the L.A. trial is the only opportunity to hold Harvey Weinstein accountable. And the other distinction is really just procedural. It'd be more about, hey, Hey, what jurisdiction gets to hold him in terms of where he serves his sentence? But because the facts and the incidents are so different, uh, they are largely not going to spill over into each other in terms of the mm -hmm. evidence presented. But of course, you have to seat a jury that even if they're aware of Weinstein's conviction, will not be biased against him in that trial. That is no small task. Absolutely not. Danny yeah. Smallows, thanks so much for being with us. Thanks, Thank Danny. You. Always great to have you here. Thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Follow today's top stories and breaking news by downloading the NBC News app.